Hey guys, so me and Copper are on the way to go get groomed. He is going to get like just like the face, paw, butt, all that kind of stuff. A little trim before we go just because, you know, our having family take care of him so we don't want them to have to deal with his long hair. So we're going to get him all nice and purty and he's pretty excited. And then I'm going to go to Pure Bar while he's in there. And then if there's still time, I'm going to go grab a bagel and have a breakfast after. But yeah, it is a nice day. I think the high... Whoa, that truck turned really fast. The high is like 85 today. So that's going to be a nice day. And I think tomorrow we're going to go meet Mo and her baby. And we're, me and Copper are going to go on a walk with them around the lake maybe if the day is still nice. I think we're supposed to get some showers today. So we will see. Right, Copper Man? Hi, baby. We'll see what's going on. But yeah, I wanted to give you a heads up. He is going to the groomers. Ready for your grooming appointment today? Are you ready? You're gonna get all nice. Look how he sits. He's so funny. You're so funny how you sit in the car and not in the car. That's how you sit. You're adorable. I love you, Copper. Just got the sad news. Copper is getting a buzz today. He is getting mats on his back, hind legs, and I've been brushing his body out. Haven't thought too much about his legs. I know he licks his legs, and she also said it could be due to the fact that Todd um, plays with him, and that just when they keep going, nah, 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 you know, y'all see y'all see him doing that all the time. Um, that he, all that spit and drool and stuff just makes him matted, so that's sad. But at least they won't have to deal with it next week. My my in-laws won't have to deal with long hair and mats, things like that. So he'll be good for the week with them. So I'm just headed to Pure Bar now. So Pure Bar was good. Now I do want to let you guys know, I'm going to talk about the prices of Pure Bar real quick. I just finally got the guts, I guess is the word to say, to ask about pricing. But right now I have been paying since October hundred and seven well I think the first month was ninety nine dollars and then ever since then I pay hundred and seventy nine a month for a pure bar so that's a lot so I've been noticing here and there people doing like the 150 12 month package and that's what I thought I was on but I thought it was like if I wanted to change to the 150 it would um, just do an additional year for the 150 but I asked the um, manager of my pure bar and she said that I'm on the open bar package so if you guys I don't know if any of you guys are on and do pure bar but if you guys are on the 179 be sure to change over to the 150 because the 150 is like the membership and you get she said you get 10% off of an item which I'll do another day and you get free guest passes so if I have family or friends that want to check it out I can bring them along for free which is awesome so that is what I'm switched to right now. I do have this month, um, it started yesterday, $100 because I hit my 100th class and that's just kind of like the special that they do. So I have that, but then next month in May I will pay $150 instead of $179, which will save me some money because man, $25 a month adds up for sure. So yeah, I wanted to make sure I told you guys about that in case you guys are like me and um, we're only on the open bar package and not the membership and just didn't know. So I wanted to keep you guys updated. Have my air turn on really loud. It's hot. I don't know why I put on this jacket, but I always bring a jacket because I, I can put all my cards and stuff in it. damage at Ulta. 
I'll show you what I got later. So I found another cruelty free shampoo and conditioner I'm excited to try and it's supposedly organic. I didn't look really too much into the ingredients but I will let you guys know what I got when I get home and then I went to Target to get Isaac his stuff. He hasn't been liking using what I purchased so I'm gonna just give him his, his stuff. He said I can go on the cruelty free organic binge but he wants to stick to the stuff that he knows he likes so that's fine. His stuff is cheaper anyway. But yeah, I got a call from Copper and he is ready to be picked up so I am headed to the car to go pick up Copper from the groomers. Little car tree, I got the chocolate dipped peeps. Perfect for Easter and they're like a buck. So yummy. Back from the groomers. Still sitting weird. He's fully shaven. No, oh, my little puppy. My little puppy is fully shaven. Oh, copper man. He'll definitely be better with the heat. Got his summer buzz on. His summer buzz. He's ready to hang out with his grandparents and Todd all next week and have a fun little spring break, aren't you? Yeah. So weird. And just like that, it is 11.30. So let's see what I got from Ulta and what I got from Target. So from Ulta, let's see what I got. So I actually got um, a dry shampoo. I know this isn't cruelty free, but I wanted something really cheap and I just wanted to try this out. I was actually surprised Batiste has so many different scents. Normally everyone just gets like the dark brown one or the clean one that I've seen on YouTube. But I saw this tropical coconut and exotic and I'm interested in trying this. So. I got a Batiste shampoo. I saw this line at Ulta. It's called the Juice Organics Health and Beauty. It has certified organic ingredients. This is the repairing shampoo and I also purchased the conditioner. It says it repairs, strengthens, nourishes with coconut and soy protein for damaged and color treated hair. So I got this, thought it would be perfect for my vacation. It is cruelty free and has like the leaping whatever that thing is. So this has definitely some good ingredients. I haven't looked too into all of it, but it does say it's certified organic. So that makes me feel like this should be a good shampoo and conditioner. So I'll give those a go. And then again, we're still on the hunt for a charcoal mask for my hubby. So I got the Pacifica Cherry Lava Purify Mask. This has charcoal, wild cherry, volcanic ash, and green tea. So see if he will try this for a substitute from those Origins products. And then this is a product for my hubby. He loves this for a face wash. This is the Cetaphil Oil Control Foam Wash. This isn't cruelty free, but as y'all heard me before, he wants to just stick with this stuff until I can find him something better. So I have those for now. Going into Target, I just picked up two things for the Hubster. One is an Old Spice Aqua Reef 8 Hours. He used to use this and likes the ocean kind of scent, so I got him the Aqua Reef. And then the other one is the Head and Shoulders 2-in-1 Classic Clean. He used that for shampoo and conditioner. So these are, this is just my quick little haul that I got from Target and Ulta. I was actually surprised all these products cost 60 bucks. So I guess it's like 10 bucks each, roughly. So, ee! So Ulta is still expensive. You are, are all going to die, but this is a deep dish apple pie muffin oh my gosh this looks heavenly um i got that bagel but it was only four dollars and i had to had to guys mind you had to get five dollars minimum for using my credit card so i got a muffin and this looks so good i'll probably eat like half of it for lunch and then half of it tomorrow morning or something He's 
leaving so many behind and Todd's just eating them. <laughs> so I'm just sitting here editing videos, getting everything pre-scheduled for next week when we are out of town and Copper is snoring. He's just sitting right there and I just hear a faint snoring over and over. And then I have my little toddy sitting on my lap over there. Well, not my lap, my, just on my legs. So it's just funny. We're all just curled up and I'm just working on some videos for you guys. Really happy that I was able to fill some film so much. I do have a lot of vlogs coming. I know I kind of post those together, but it is a while to get all that footage together and it's just like footage on my camera and on my phone as well. So I just have to combine them too and take some work, but it is fun. I do like vlogging and I'm definitely vlogging in Florida, which I will probably be there while you're watching these videos. So it's really exciting. Hey guys, so it's later in the day. I pulled the Borges Bingo Delicato mask and I wanted to do a review and demo of the face mask so I have it on now and I am doing a review and demo. So if you guys are interested, then I'll link that video down below, but that's what I'm up to. Morning guys, so not only did I not like the ingredients in yesterday's face mask, it caused me to like break out or have an allergic reaction on my face. That's not attractive. That's actually really horrifying. I have a crazy puppy. He is so crazy. But yeah, so that face mask was definitely a fail. I don't recommend it at all. Um, I am going to put this little snippet in the back of that just so people know that happened. But yeah, the Borges Delicato face mask was a definite fail. I do not recommend it and I would stay away from it because I did not have that the other day before. And I went to bed after I washed it off, but I didn't put anything over it so I know that's definitely what it was. So, I kind of stink. Hey guys, so it's a little later in the day and I will say I can still see it. I put so much concealer on. Please excuse my washing machine for my clothes, but I put concealer on and you can still see it. So I am really upset. I just went through and threw away the other two, not threw away, put in my like declutter bag. The other two face masks from Borges, they both have parabens in it and the other bad ingredients that I was talking about. So yeah, I'm not happy with what happened. I went and ripped and took off all of my sheets and that is actually what's in the washer right now. So that way it doesn't have to happen again. I also just finished up my Tarte airbrush foundation, the loose powdered one, and you can definitely see a difference between my face and my neck. So I'm glad it was only enough for one more face because that was not cool. I even like cut up the foundation and everything, but yeah, this foundation does not really match my neck or my skin. So hopefully I get darker soon because it's definitely spring summer. So darkness would be fantastic. Hey guys, so I just wanted to close out the vlog and say thank you very much for watching. And I really appreciate everything that y'all are doing for me and all this love and support. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you in my next one.